So here we have the 49 inch Ultra HD 4K ready smart TV from LG. It's been in my living room for about six months now and for me it's been an absolutely fantastic purchase. The design is very classic, very traditional, black with medium sized bezels I'd say, not the thinnest but not exceptionally thick either. It has two feet, so glossy black plastic, very sturdy. It's not the thinnest television in the world, but it's not very thick either. It's barely, barely about four or five inches at its thickest point. You have at the front of mine a sound bar, which I can talk about a bit later. But overall, a, a, a great design. Can't complain. The connections are all back here, nicely tucked away. You have a USB port on this side, which I often use to just plug and play a memory stick and look at some media. And then you have the usual additional cables. So I've got a coaxial cable for free view. I've got an optical cable for the soundbar, HDMI for the PlayStation 4, and an RJ45 Ethernet cable to connect it to the internet. So we'll switch on the input now to have a quick look at some terrestrial TV. I'll give you a quick look at the remote. To be honest, it's very basic and it's the same remote that comes with the majority of LG TVs these days. It's easy to use, it's uh, got very well laid out buttons, very tactile, and to be honest, I um, I prefer this. I think it's useful for those with chunky thumbs, and you can't really go wrong. And it's quite light, so it's not too overbearing in your hand. Of course, some of the newer LG TVs come with the very, very snazzy magic remote, where you can use it like a Nintendo Wii controller, but... This did not come in the box, but I do believe this TV can be used with a Magic Remote. Now, what I'll show you first is the difference between standard definition and high definition. So here we have ITV in standard definition. If I swap over to channel 103, which is, of course, ITV HD, you'll quickly see a very sharp difference in the quality of the image. Immediately you can see it's crisper it's much brighter and oddly the sound is a lot better as well HD does bring with it better sound channels now it's muted here but I'll show you the sound a little bit later what I'll quickly show you now is some of the settings so what you have in the remote is a very small button at the top that says Q menu that's the quick menu as soon as you press that you have access to on the right hand side a few quick options you have the option to adjust the picture sound aspect ratio, putting on a sleep timer, which I'm sure is quite handy if you have a TV like this in your bedroom, and a parental lock feature. But if you go down to this triple dot button here, you press on that and you get access to the full suite of settings for this television. It's very quick. It, it, it doesn't lag as much as you might think. And um, considering it's using the new LG WebOS software, it works very well. I won't bore you by going through all these different settings, but they are vast and you can adjust the TV to your liking. You can, of course, add security and password locks as it is a Wi-Fi enabled and Internet enabled TV. So you should, if necessary, adjust those settings with young children around. And what I'll quickly show you here as well is the ability to adjust the sound settings according to your liking. Now, this is just the television sound on its own. The TV itself has built-in speakers, which are adequate. I'm not going to say they're fantastic, but they get the job done. Now, I personally use a soundbar, as you can see down here. Again, this is an LG soundbar. If I switch it on, you'll notice a very, very obvious difference in the quality of sound. So, this is with just the usual TV speaker. Green light, see? Make it time already. And again. Put it up. And now, I'll quickly swap this over to the LG's optical sound system. We can pop on, bear with me, we can pop on the settings for the actual sound out. And here I'll swap that over to LG Sound Sync, which means that my soundbar, which is across the bottom of the television, is connected via an optical cable and through that it by default pushes the sound out of the sound bar instead of the TV and you immediately see a much sharper, much quality, stronger quality of sound but again 
That's just based on the quality of your soundbar. Alan, can't we just get a man in? Man? In any event, we're not here to discuss the soundbar, we're here to talk about the TV. So what I'll now show you is the smart features. If you press this little button right in the middle there, above the up arrow, you can see a little home button right there. As soon as you press that, you get a nice row of features across the bottom. You've got Amazon Instant Video, you have the LG Content Store, so again, you can purchase apps with an LG, some programs that you've already pre-installed, Now TV, BBC iPlayer, which is a fun favorite of mine, Netflix, if you are so inclined to subscribe to that, Google Play Movies, again, a subscription service, Amazon TV, as shown on the left, and Wacky, Wacky TV, sorry, uh, probably not as popular in the UK, but I'm sure it is abroad, Five on Demand, etc. Now, this row of suite, this suite, sorry, I should say, of smart functions is, is updated very regularly. The software itself updates very regularly, so you do get a smooth a smooth service 99% of the time. If I now quickly go into Amazon Prime TV, this will be a good way to demonstrate the Ultra HD features of this television. Of course, you need Ultra HD content to see Ultra HD footage. And what we have here is a Amazon Prime program. It's going to quickly show you, hopefully, the quality of Ultra HD. Now, as you can see on the bottom, you've got here Ultra HD. This is a streaming service. My television is connected via an Ethernet cable. I find that it's a much stronger signal strength there as opposed to using Wi-Fi. Again, based on how your house is laid out, you may not necessarily have your Wi-Fi box very close. And my, my router is literally just over here. Um, you may have, have no choice but to use a wireless connection. But as you can see here, this is Ultra HD and it's absolutely incredible. And overall, a very, very, very good TV. I'm very happy with the purchase, the price, the, the picture quality, the way it looks in my living room, the way it connects to the internet and to my soundbar, of course. And overall, a, a fantastic picture that I'm very pleased with.